So what is going on people and welcome to episode 2 of the Palace Project and today we have that game against Newcastle as promised and as you might be able to see from the top right hand corner things didn't go our way against Sheffield United, a 3-2 defeat, yeah safe to say we cannot defend set pieces for our lives, um, yeah so if we have a look at the goals it was just a crazy match as you can see we had two sendings off very late on just as we were pushing for an equaliser. But the first goal coming from Lise Mousset, a ball in by Sander Berger in Mousset, goes in unmarked and he scores. And then we equalise Jeffrey Schlup with a quite a fantastic goal, picks up the ball here, runs all the way and somehow manages to squeeze it past Dean Henderson. A superb effort. But then just a few minutes later, we were back down again. A free kick. O'Connell heads it on, Mousset getting the final touch. And we're at 2-1 going into half-time. Two minutes after half-time, another free-kick goal. Very similar. Berger with a flick on. I think Henderson makes the save. But then Jack O'Connell touches in. And, well, I was furious at this point. We did push on. Made changes. Jordan Ayew then grabbed a goal with seven minutes to go. Making it 3-2. Ball into the near post by Meyer. I thought Ayew was offside, but it did count. So then we pushed it up to very attacking. Pushed a lot of people forward. And well, Jeffrey Schlupp, second book in Van Arnholt, straight red card. Got down to nine men. And uh, yeah, that really didn't help our cause. So after the first couple of games of the season, we are 19th. Zero points on the board, minus five goal difference, lost both games. But Newcastle, 17th. This is a massive opportunity to get off the mark. And well, I've gone a bit drastic in terms of tactics. First and foremost, we just have a look. Christian Benteke did go out on load. He's gone to Basel. Yeah, that's that's it really. So, this is the tactic that I am employing for the Newcastle game. We've gone five at the back. Likeness is with Steve Bruce in charge. Newcastle will play something fairly similar. Um, notably, our fullbacks can't play wing backs, which is a bit annoying. Um, but they're going to have to do it again using a gag and press system. It worked well against Sheffield United. We did have a lot of the ball. We didn't have as many chances of them. But I feel like against a Newcastle side, they'll be set up fairly defensively. So this is a good system to use. So we're going to go with Stephen Henderson in goal, the man that I tried to ship out this summer. Um, he's actually proving his worth. Again, he didn't have the greatest games, but then I feel like he, there was not really a lot he could have done about last game. So he's getting a chance... A back three of Jacob Mensah still in there. Scott Dan and Mamadou Sacco back to full fitness. Tonkins still got a couple of weeks left on his injury. Joel Ward at right wing back. Rita Ward at left wing back. In the centre, Milivojevic back in the side. That could prove massive. He's going to be playing alongside James McCarthy. Max Meyer in the number 10 spot. And up top, Ayu and Cenk Tosin. Tosin was poor last game. He really needs to start improving. Uh, options on the bench, Mendes, Zaha as well, Townsend is there, um, but yeah, those those two suspensions really hurting us, but let's get into the game, a game against Newcastle is one that I am desperate to win, and hopefully we can do just that, yeah, as I thought, Newcastle playing a very similar system, going with wingers, and one up top as opposed to the system we're using, but a fairly familiar Newcastle side. Still a good side, though. The pace of St. Maximin is certainly going to hound, hound us. I was going to say hurt us. There we go. Hurt us on the counter-attack. Um, I'm going to say to this, do this for the fans. They need to see a performance today. Let's. I have faith. Let's get out there. Uh, yeah, he's versatile. Um, focusing on us. Might have risked him. Don't, didn't need to. Right, here we go then. Just want to say first and foremost as well, uh, a massive thank you to the support on the first video. It's been really, um, really good. And it's, you know, nice to see that everything's been received well. And after this sort of mini break that I had, uh, you know, people are still interested in what I'm putting out there. So thank you very much for that. But let's get back to the game then. It is Newcastle moving forward. Lazaro, ball inside to Hayden. Danny Rose, space on the edge. Can you get a ball in? Scott Dan does well. And Meyer... Heads on to Tosin. Can we launch a counter? 
A good ball out to Joel Ward on the right hand side. Hasn't got many options in the area. Finds Meyer on the edge though. And that ball is poor. Now Newcastle can launch a counter of their own. That's a great ball for Fernandez Henderson. I'd probably like you to come out and get that. And well, Almiron has got on the end of it. And it looks like Joel Ward's got in with the challenge. So Maximin with the corner. Share. Oh, it's a good header away by you. Milivojevic pressuring Joel Linton. And he commits the foul. And really not a place to give away a free kick. The highlight is going to continue. Why do I feel like there's going to be a goal from this? So Maximin ball in. It goes all the way through. Joel Linton. And well, Mensa does. I mean, thank God the, the highlight ended there. Because that was poor defending. We get the ball forward. Ayu, oh, that ball again is so poor. A passing has not been good. Reader all inside to Maya McCarthy. Are you on the on this left hand side? Burst into the area. Jordan Ayu get in there. What a goal from the boy. Cuts in on that left hand side. Wrong foots the keeper and puts it in the net. Jordan Ayu has got us off to a great start. McCarthy, vibrant ginger hair there. But yeah, Ayu picks it up, goes past. I think that's Lazaro. Sends who's that? Who's that one? Fabian Share to the shops. The Bravka wrong footed and Jordan Ayu. A great piece of individual skill. And I look away because there's a highlight straight after the goal. And why do... Oh, okay, Joel Waller, he's on a booking already. Why do I feel like... I feel like everything's just going to go wrong. Just because of the first two games that we've had. Some Maximin, he's got the overlap. Lazaro is there with a lot of space. Reader Wall shuts him down. It's a great tackle. Can we get there? Oh, it's a big touch. We need to be get. We need to be getting there. But Henderson holds on. A frantic opening 20 minutes. And we're not done with this highlight yet either. Sacco launches one up. Cher heads down. But now Meyer with the ball. Lovely run from Riedewald. Needs options though. Meyer on the edge. He shoots. Oh, just wide. I thought he might lay off McCarthy because he was in a good position. But the shot just wide. So maximum ball in. Joel Linton heads over. And well, we, we need to get a second goal to make us a lot more comfortable. Every time Newcastle come forward, I feel like they're going to score. But the chances keep coming in this first half. Meyer, now to McCarthy, Tosin. They set up very... That's the only problem with this, is Newcastle have a, not a lot of numbers back, and we don't get many forward. Meyer, long range, and he's found the back of the net. He tried it a few minutes ago and just went wide. But this time, Max Meyer, the German, gets his first goal of the season, and we grab that second goal that I was talking about. Joel Ward... It falls to Tosin. Lovely little layoff. And Mayer, oh, he just strikes it. Doesn't even need to run up his place to perfection. And we go 2-0 up in this game. And this is exactly what we needed. Okay, Meyer on the ball now. McCarthy, Tosin moving it around really nicely. The wingbacks have got a lot of space. Ward is screaming for it. He could have picnics out there. And he finally gets it. Inside the area now. John Ward, ball in. Read the Ward. Oh, the header. Bullet header. And it's just over the bar. And this is this is so much better. This is what I want to see. This is the. I mean, okay, we are playing Newcastle. Granted, on FM they're not the greatest side, but you know this is what I want to see. As this is the potential I knew we had, but I'm not getting ahead of myself. It's Newcastle. Um, right, let's say to the boys, very happy. Let's lift spirits. Solid second half. And the first chance of it could be ours, although St. Maximin can't get out of it. McCarthy does well. Meyer now. Goes back to Sacco, but that's fine. Readable with space. Meyer on the edge of the area. McCarthy, Milivojevic out to Ward. Again, just keeping the ball really nicely. McCarthy, Readable is in space. McCarthy, that's where we go. Again, utilising the wingbacks well. Readable just about keeps it in. Ball in, Tosin and Dubravka saves. Manages to get hold of it a second time round. But yeah, I'd really like Tosin to score as well to lift his spirits because he had, I think he had a 5.9 in the last game. He was absolute trash. Um, but we've got no other strikers now and it was sort of a last-minute decision to change to a two-up-top system. We've got players that can play up top. As Almiron, Henderson makes a save. Yeah, Zaha can play up front. I'm pretty sure Chong can as well. But so far, we are looking good for this. Okay, just under 20 minutes to go. Newcastle with the throw in deep and a half. Joel Linton unmarked. Benteleb. And they've scored. That was really poor from us. Just laps marking at the throw in. Joel Linton left all by himself. 
And then because McCarthy has to go and close him down, it leaves Bentelev free. It's a great finish right in the side netting. But we just put, our, put ourselves in a stupid position. Can we get another goal? Go back and restore our two-goal advantage. Maya McCarthy, oh, it's hit the bar. I think Dubravka's turned it onto the bar. Milivojevic, can he get a shot? What's he doing? Oh, he's passed it straight to St. Maxman. Oh, we've hit the bar. Is that going to be costly? I think. Am I going to make a couple changes? We'll push it back to no balance for now. And I think I'll make a couple of late changes. All right, so this is what we're operating for the final few, <laughs> final few minutes. No width, but um, yeah, this could go well. Right, I think this probably, yeah, I was going to say it's just a highlight just because we're making tactical changes. But into added time, and then we go over. Come on, yes, get in. A 2-1 victory, exactly what we needed. That was really precise pronunciation there. Exactly. But yeah, massive win. Really good performance as well. I'm going to say to the boys, well done. A very good win. And well... That should move us a little bit up the table. It does, up into 12th. Obviously, there's still teams to play this weekend. But really good, important victory. In terms of when we will be back, we have got Forest Green next in the uh, Carabao Cup. So hopefully the good times can continue. Um, but I think we will go for... Let's do the Man City game. Uh, a couple of winnable games in there. Obviously, United and City at home is going to be difficult. Pronunciation is not my forte today. Um, yeah, United and City at home will be difficult, but Brighton and Villa away, games where we could potentially get game uh, points on the board. I need to end this episode quickly. Um, but yeah, hopefully the good times can continue, get points on the board, and we will be looking a bit healthier in the Premier League table. So that is going to wrap up today's episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I will see you in a piece.